All right, guys, welcome back to some more Red Dead Redemption. As we look on, up, up, oh Jesus Christ, please don't fall off. The There's a little bit of a rainbow there. That's nice too. But a nice view over the waterfall there. And we're going to do this John Marston mission. So let us do it. John, let's get this shit done, baby. Let's blow this bridge to kingdom come. Arthur, how you doing? Nervous? But I've been nervous for a while. The bridge to nowhere. I've had a lot of time to think in that jail and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels I don't know. Like you're stringing us along, I know. <laughs> Killing in cold blood, revenge. We all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies, more chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in Saint Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? You can... You could give something to Jack. Hey, Stider. Well, I don't see no way out of this. Well, what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. It would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on its nose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. <sighs> well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. Okay. This thing out onto That's the a cool conversation there with John and Arthur. A third of the way across where we can get down underneath oh, and the charges. Bad. I've already set up the detonator. John, sure. let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos. What the hell's going on here? We're about to blow up a bridge for Christ's sake. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pushing it down as he's going down. Come on. There you go. We got it. Look at that view, man, over there. Oh, beautiful. Alright, stop. Here's good. <sighs> we sure got a lot of this stuff. We'll need it. I'll climb down there and you lower the crates. Alright. Let me know when you're ready. Got it. Ready when you are. I'm at the bottom of the ladder here to your left. That's the spot. Lower it from there. Let's get moving here, Arthur. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. Okay, good. Grab the other one. I got you, John. Don't worry, man. Alright, you got this? Johnny boy? My dog is eating something in the background, if you can hear that, by the way. I don't know what it is. It sounds like his bowl, though. Plastic dog ball. Okay. Got it. All right, come down here and help me plant this stuff. Man, I kind of want to jump into the river. That looks like a satisfying thing to do, does it not? I need to save it first, though. Okay. Grab yourself a bundle from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. I sure hope this is enough to blow it. These are mine in charge. They ain't easy to come by. If they don't do the job, nothing will.
That'll do. That's some drop, man. It's crazy to think, like, this was the only way they could get across back in the day was the bridge. Wait, couldn't they just go around and go up there? <laughs> okay. I don't know, maybe not, but looks like it. Did they not just walk around there and come down on this side? <laughs> They'd have to okay. cross the river, but I mean... I should go get the hand cart ready. You okay to finish off down here? Yep. Sure. Go on, I can handle the rest. I'll see you up there. This better work. Do I hear a train coming? Did I just hear a train? But if I'm doing it quick as I can, Johnny. Yeah. And I'm dreading the conclusion of this game, but also like really looking forward to it at the same time, you know what I mean? It's like I just know Arthur. We know he's dying already. Train! Arthur, get up here quick! Let's go blow this thing up. Hopefully no one's on that train. Blow this shit um, to kingdom come, baby. I think the line held. You want the honors? Sure. I knew he was gonna say sure. <laughs> Woo! I guess old Dutch got all the smoke he wants. Well, let's hope so. <laughs> you really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It was all I knew. It was all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. But don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For an idea that don't work no more. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money. For safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I love it. I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. Yeah! 
That just about might be one of my favorite scenes in the game so far. Just John and Arthur forming a pact and allegiance here, kind of. And figuring it all out between each other. I absolutely love that. We need that medicine. We need that medicine that Rain's Fall gave us. How do we use that, by the way? Any way to use that? I don't think so. Special health cure. Hmm. Alright. How close by is this uh, Captain Monroe guy? He's not too far up there. Whoa! The fuck? My poster just fell down off the wall. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me, man. Alright, let's go up to Captain Monroe. My Stannis Baratheon poster just fell down off the wall. Right after that scene, hard truths cut both ways. Coincidence? I don't know. Maybe it's a sign. Stannis is trying to tell me something yep. about Dutch. Alright, let's go up and do this mission for Captain Monroe. Help out uh, Rain's Fall. Try and make his son Eagle Fly see reason. And try and get him away from Dutch if possible. Because Dutch is going to lead him down a bad path that he won't be able to come back from. So, let's go help him out. And, uh... As you can see now, Arthur really doesn't trust Dutch at all anymore. Like, it's been going that way. He's been, like, questioning Dutch a lot more throughout the game. But he's never flat out said, like, that he just doesn't doesn't trust him at all. And he just said it there pretty much to, um, to John. And he's telling John to get the hell out of the gang and just leave when he has the chance. So that is very, very interesting. We're about to see it all come to a head here in Chapter 6. Monroe, what's happening, brother? Hello. Here I am, as promised. Captain Monroe. Of course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. Honor amongst It's quite these. a business. Yes. Thought we were through with all of this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? Uh, to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. He knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. <laughs> okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. Let's get it, Cap. Let's freaking get it. So, this Colonel Faber, he knows you're up here helping these people? Yes. And no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. 
can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for it. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Falls and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. All right, this is the spot I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. Okay. Let's get these vaccines back. For the people. Hopefully it uh, is not too difficult. Nothing uh, comes okay, easy in this game, let's though. let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. The wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. Think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean, understand me? Don't worry, I'm as clean as they come. <laughs> All I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. How are you gonna do that? Oh, look at that. How the hell are we gonna stop this wagon? Hold it right there! Whoa, you better put that down right now. Can we even do this stuff though? Gonna need your car. Oh, that was a complete accident. Listen, I'll be honest, guys. I didn't even mean to shoot you in the first place, but you got what was coming. Let's be honest. All right. What are you doing, Arthur? There you go. Thanks, buddy. Listen, I didn't get me to get those guys killed, all right, but I have to be done. Sorry about that. Okay. Those guys are very dead, I must say. They got shot about 14 times, but they didn't listen, okay? It's not my fault, okay? I don't even know if we could have done that self lead. Did we have to kill them? I'm actually not sure. Probably didn't have to kill them. But you know what? The army deserves it for how they've treated poor the poor uh, poor natives here. Those two guys anyway. They deserved it. They were back talking me. Scumbags. Alright, we made a pack with the medicines.
Monroe? Got your shit, buddy. I thought that was Monroe. That wasn't Monroe. Yeah, that was Monroe. Around here somewhere? Really? Come on. Surely to God, Morgan, you can walk just a tiny bit faster. I heard he and Wainsaw have made agreement. Captain Monroe, I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll have to take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <laughs> yeah, well... I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. All right. Done and dusted. Honor amongst thieves. How T is the only mission now? What's T? Oh no, Sadie Adler's still there. Remember that mission we had with Mary Linton? I guess that had to be done in chapter five, right? Because it's no longer it's no longer there. It's unfortunate. I wanted to do that one, but when I tried to do it, goddamn ten thousand guards spawned on me and tried to kill me, so I couldn't even do it. But whatever. Alright, we made it back to camp. John is there. Let's go talk to Trelawney, though. Let's see what he has to say. Trelawney wants to talk to us. I mean, where the hell have you been, brother? Who do you think the rat is? What do you mean? Well, somebody's talking. I can feel it. Who do you think it is? What the fuck is going on here? Trelawney's head is coming out of fucking Javier's. They're sitting on the same bench. It's Just not right. supposed to be like that. I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> well, I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. Now, well, let's not get over sentimental. Well, oh, the place is quiet. Get out of here. Go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. Okay, so that was meeting with Trelawney. He's gone. <sighs> Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. Rain's follow. What's up, brother? How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but... They're colloquial. Ah, uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got I've it. saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. Alright. Charles has us there. Hi, Karen. Arthur Morgan. She's still lying as drunk. Alright, Mary Beth. Hey, Mary Beth. Okay, Arthur. It doesn't even make sense. I said, hey, Mary Beth. Okay, Arthur. I didn't ask you how you were, Mary. This way. I also have some men meeting me there. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to help. Watch out! 
sorry. Definitely this last Thank you um for doing this, both of you. You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. Dutch should not have gotten involved. My son has a mind of his own. Too much so, in fact. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. You'd be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. Easy! I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. Yeah, I feel like the last hour, hour and a half has been like quite slow in terms of like action and stuff like that. This is, and it's kind of more the last hour and a half or so has more been to do with the natives and them finding peace rather to do with the gang and Arthur and everything. So it has been a lot slower on that side, but I'm still enjoying it not as crazy as like the start of chapter six and the chapter five but still fun Just, just, did he just say I've got my eye on him? Or... That's where the meeting's happening, I'm guessing. Hopefully they don't recognize us. <laughs> Blow the whole thing up if they do. They'll be like, this motherfucker? That's Arthur Morgan. Look at this guy, look at the size of this dude's fucking chin. What's wrong with you, brother? Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. <laughs> Listen, Mr. <coughs> um, <coughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. What is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are little more than criminals. In my opinion, keep breaking peace treaties we've made, causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So let me be very. Tough, man. You okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're gentlemen with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, <gasps> Rains' fall. Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing That's is... quite a cough. The federal government. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. God damn it, man. 
Something's gonna happen while we're in here. You know he's going to have Monroe court martialed Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? Seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he has something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is gonna force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Who removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. We know what they say about him. High tail Favors, the man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kinda liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kinda stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate. Feeling better? Yeah. Treaty. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> so I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. All right, Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. If I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shall kill you. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Go, okay? You son of a bitch. Get out of here, fool. <laughs> Getting Monroe out of here, baby. Woo! Get him out of here. We got some on our tail. Come on! I can't shoot at these men. Hold my fire? Hold my fire or no? I don't know. Boom! Oh. Oh, no. 
dude. Let's go. Let's go. Captain Monroe, you're with me. Let's go. Hop on, Captain. We sure as hell don't want to hang around here. Come on, follow me. Let's go, Charlesy boy. It takes so long to shoot the gun. So. Like, like, how long does it take? Is that the gun that I have? The lack of to review? Maybe it's just a horn or something. But like, when, after I press R2, it takes like two seconds before it shoots. Everybody okay? Not really. What do we do now? You get out of here. Fast. Take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talk. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I... Guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. All right, man. See you later. The hell out of here. Get out of here, Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. Are you take it and get out of here. Start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Hmm. <laughs> Get you back a kid. Later, Monroe. <coughs> Reverend? What the hell? Reverend. What are you doing here? Um, I'm leaving. Running away? I suppose so, yes, I'm running away. I tried to make Dutch see sense, but he's... He's very strange recently. And the women? Little Jack? You leaving them? I told them to run to. I asked them to come with me, but they wouldn't. I'm changed. I'm a changed man, Arthur. I, I can't die for a bunch of nonsense sprouted by a fool. I understand. You're... Well, you're, you're not a good man, Arthur, but you're not all bad, either. Everything will be... Your journey, your path will be just fine. I'm worried my path is coming to an end, Mr. Swanson. Maybe. I felt that way for a long time about myself, I mean, but, but you'll do what's right. I don't know about that. I do. Save who you can and let the rest rot. And look after yourself. Maybe. We'll see. You do see. You just can't quite admit it to yourself. All aboard! Be well, Reverend. All aboard! You too, Arthur. Sure. Good luck out there. You lived your life like a man, Arthur, and you turned into a good man. If we were all like you, things might have turned out differently. You're getting mighty sentimental, Reverend. He's right, though. He's dead fucking right.
And I tell you what, folks. Everyone's leaving now. Everyone's leaving. Trelawney, gone. Reverend, gone. Hosea, dead. Lenny, dead. Man, it's, the numbers are dwindling. I'm gonna pay off both my bounties, screw it. Pay off all the bounties, why not? We, um, receive mail. Huh. Alright, we took a, a fast travel down here, now we're gonna go and talk to Sadie Adler. And, uh, do the, the only mission available to us right now. I have a feeling it's gonna be a pretty big one. Could be wrong on that, but we'll see. Come on, horsey. Let's get going. I don't know how far Sadie is away, so. Come on. We gonna go on horseback. Thank you for all the support recently, guys. I really do appreciate it. I've been plowing through this game. I've been playing a lot of it over the last few days, so. Um, I'm hoping to finish it tomorrow, maybe, or the day after. No thanks. See. Doyle's Tavern, you in here? Don't you worry about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on. Let's Bye, go. dear friend. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. Uh, so? Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are going to hang him. Yeah. And not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? In this. <laughs> Arthur's like, fuck. Okay. Come on. That's why she's so riled up, because she had to get dressed up like well, that, is it? Well, don't we just look the part. We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler. Might I say, being a fancy woman of sand and he shoots you. Huh. I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Cole <laughs> hung me up. I nearly butchered me. I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy, Kieran. We've all lost something because of Comb. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, bro. glass at that dog? Whatever do you mean? Are you going to keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours, I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? You two quit it. We all got a job to do, and we're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? Should be a beautiful sight. Seeing Colm O'Driscoll hey. hang here. All right. Good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Colm's boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. 
We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. She's definitely gonna do something. <laughs> like there's just no doubt about it. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey, hey! You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. Well, I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Como Driscoll's going to get his due. He's turned down there. Let's go. Quiet. Enough. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So. Okay, we gotta take we gotta up Paul. High up on the roof, overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there, onto one of these verandas, through a building maybe, and get him. And do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm gonna do it silently. I wanna see this bastard swing. Oh, Arthur. Here's a ladder. That'll work. Find a way up to the roof and stop him. I'll go back to Mrs. Adler. He's not there. Your boss is gonna see that was coming. Uh, 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 the fuck? It won't let me dodge, right? It won't let me do anything. Come here. Bro, it won't let me do anything. Legit, it would not let me press any buttons. The boss is gonna swing, I promise. That was easy. There goes your escape plan. I don't know why we're gonna do it in person. It is justice that separates us from Barbary. Yet justice itself can at times be barbaric. For sometimes a man is so savage, the only way to deal with him justly is by savagery. Holm O'Driscoll is one such man. Where's Dutch and Sadie? He Just there. has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen, raped, and abused for a decade across five states, seemingly with impunity. Today, this guy's an O'Driscoll with the gun, right? This catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges This are... is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy. But it <laughs> is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper gentlemen are we ready 
Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! <laughs> She's a fucking psychopath, man. Wait, I can't even like not scope right now. Dude, I can't not scope. Like, it won't let me unscope right now. I guess I have to be in scope mode. Okay, Sadie's absolutely Go. fucking crazy. Let's just get out of here. Go. Well, calm's dead at least. Beautiful. Colmo Driscoll is very, very dead. Sweet justice. That's one thing we can agree. Me, Sadie, and Dutch can all agree that fool deserved to die. What a beautiful sight to see him die. I must say. Mission completed, boys. How you get on, Arthur? Well, and we saw the bastard hang okay, but no thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared mm -hmm. to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? Ooh. She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur, I don't know if you received the letter I wrote to you from Sandini a while back. It was foolish of me to ask for your help again, and I wanted I to help. There will be no recurrence. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter either, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh. Arthur, I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams when I read about your recent activities in the newspaper. I miss you, and I will always miss you, but I cannot live like that, and it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense, but when we're apart, I... See clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I am so sorry for everything. For everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur, but he is wrestling with a giant. And the giant wins time and again. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago when we were both young. Not because I don't like it but because I care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you'll find some people in love who can use this, for it kept me thinking of you all these years. And I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. Right, listen. I want to do that mission with Mary, okay? The game fucked me there. It wouldn't let me. <laughs> uh, God damn it. Alright, but there you go. That's the end of this part, guys. Another nice, long, juicy one for all of you. And uh, progress now. We're underweight. I keep eating, but we're still underweight. Storyways, save game. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that part. That was a lot of fun. 
That was back to the craziness. I, I much prefer, like, kind of personally the missions with the gang than doing the, the Eagle Flies and Rains Falls missions and the ones for Captain Monroe. I felt those were a little slow and kind of, I don't know, I just wanted to know what would happen next with the gang because I'm just so inter interested and invested in that story. But uh, those missions are cool too. Um, 66% still? I was 60-60... Uh, uh, oh, I can't speak English. I was 60-60? No, I was 66% before that mission too. Makes no sense. Alright, but we got an Eagle Flies mission up here next. Um, where is it? Way over here. By Valentine. So Dutch has convinced Eagle Fly... Wait, what did that say? Dutch has convinced Eagle Flies to take action against the military. Oh, God. Why would you do this, Dutch? But, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the part nonetheless. And I'll see you guys for the next part, which will be part number 25 very soon.